Alright guys. Following the Canada. Of spice shipments, we made our way up to Nunavut Bay, Canada, the secret hub of Jean Besson's shipping empire. As a young man, he trekked across Canada to strike it rich during the gold rush of 1852. An avid prospector, he took some chances and ended up buried alive. Guys, ready for a history lesson? Miraculously, the quick freeze kept him alive, and 120 years later, thanks to global warming, he thawed out. A product of his time, he dreams of taming Wouldn't the he be brain dead? North, damming every river, Wouldn't and he just out be all dead? the trees with progress delivered at the sharp end of an axe. Shipping spice for the claw gang proved a lucrative way to bankroll his one-man war against nature. And yet, I have to feel a little sorry for him. He's just a normal guy from the 1850s. Back in his day, he'd be a hero, but today, he's a villain. Either way, that man's got more than his fair share of the clockwork parts. What a low-tech guy like Jean Bassan is doing with robot parts is a mystery. I almost don't want to know. But as always, it's only a matter of time before I find out. Yeah, yeah. He who tames the iron horse. I forgot how much talking it is in Sly Cooper. There's so much dialogue. I've got a lead on the clockwork parts and through town and out into the wilderness. I ain't nothing wrong with dialogue, but goddamn it, boy, they they stop you from playing a game. Like why can't we just why can't they just talk while we doing it? Sometimes they do it, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they keep on taking this shit off. But I don't told them stop. Oh yet? But what? All the way over there. Come on, Ben. Was gonna take a little train or after shit. Fuck it now. Yeah. Don't be fooled. It's the control center for Jean Bizon's trade empire. Sneak inside and raid his files. You're sure to find out where he keeps his clock. <laughs> Ransacking his files doesn't sound hard. Now, climbing up a sheer rock wall? That'll be a challenge. You're in luck. Before Jean Bizon took over, this used to be a popular destination for rock climbers. Some of their old wall hooks are still around. I'm guessing I just jump and hit the circle button to latch uh, on. That's right. And remember to lean back before you spring off the hook. You'll get more altitude. Thanks for the tip. I'll give it a try. If they tell me to jump and hit the circle button one more goddamn time, what else could it be? Jump and hit the triangle button? No. Jump and hit the square button? No. Jump and hit the X button? Well, that'd be double jumping. Jump and hit the circle button. That is the whole damn game. You don't need to keep telling me over and over and over and over and over and over. I know how to play the game. <sighs> Billy, could you talk to me again? I forgot how to play the game. Jump and hit the what? Hit the what? I ain't even gonna do it. There's gotta be a cheat code where you can skip dialogue. Jackpot, Sly. That's Sean B. Son. Looks like he didn't notice me. Pushing every button. Just stay out of sight and take a picture of each of his train routes. They should narrow our search for his share of the clockwork parts. All right, I'm on it. Hello, Arpeggio here. Salutations, Mr. Arpeggio. Stop taking it off! Yo, 
Y'all got time to shoot the breeze? Of course, for you, chum, always. Although, must we communicate through that dreadful speakerphone? Yeah, I can think better while my legs move. Pumps blood to your brain. Yes, of course. One must keep blood in one's brain. But do tell, is there some pressing matter you'd like to discuss? First off, are you still a coming on schedule to get that Northern Lights battery? Yes, we're well underway. My blimp should arrive at the end of the week. Bullseye. For a second, when are you gonna give me a look-see at that clockwork brain of yours? I'd sure like to buy it off you. Sly, did you hear that? Misson's hidden the Iron Horse blueprints in his trophy bass. Head for the fish on top of the fireplace and steal those plants. Easy there. Why would he hide it in the bass? That's such. Now get out I feel like a childish thing to do. Sounds like you're making capital use of your share of the robotic loot. But for now, the clockwork brain stays with me. Ah, oh, oh. oh, boy, I tell you. After analyzing Bizon's decorating techniques, Shut I think up. we'll find the other trophy bass above the mantle in the two remaining cabins. See if we can get a little ride. <sighs> can we get a little ride? Aw, don't tell me the train going that way. Fuck it. Doing, doing. Bum, bum. Wee. Uh huh. Let's try and be as quiet as we can be on this level. No, open the door. Yep, just like I thought. Get to the fish above the mantle and steal those blueprints. Got him. Yeah. All the way over there. Oh my God. Yes. Let's get a little ride. Ah, oh, hell, this ain't going much faster. Never mind. We're going the right way. No shit. Attention all cabin guards. <coughs> I've heard tell of all the boys in the Exceptional work, Sly. That's the last of the blueprints. Mm-hmm. You think you could be quiet now? Just a thought. You know, food for thought. Armed with all three blueprints, we should be able to isolate and track the iron horse trains through that satellite dish. Mm -hmm. Top of the mountain, huh? Shouldn't take long. You think you could have told me that while I was moving around, or? I gotta be looking at it. Hey. This is great. We've got total access to the train's GPS system. It's all on my computer. Head back to the safe house. I'll crunch some numbers and give you and Murray the rundown. All right then. Give us the rundown. I feel bad for uh, Bentley's voice actor. He's got to talk so much. Thanks to Sly's efforts, we now know the location of all three of the local clockwork parts. Two lugs and a stomach. John Besson has grafted each piece to the engine in one of his iron horse trains. This improvement allows the trains to run all night and all day. We won't have the luxury of sneaking in while they're stopped. 
While they're in motion, the only way aboard is through a hatch on the caboose roof, which unfortunately has been locked down. These need to go. First, collect the spice gas from the balloons above town, and then land on the back of the caboose to blow off the locks. Once the way is cleared, I'll suit up and jump into Iron Horse number one while it passes near town. With some luck, we'll have the first clockwork lug in a few hours. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Let's do Murray first. Murray, you got anything you gotta do? What you gotta do, boy? No, oh, Murray don't got no mission. Okay, oh well. No skin off my cock. Mm -hmm. I need some kind of vehicle. I don't know, something that's faster. Go. Sly, it's what? It's awful. What? I can't believe it. What? Sly, what happened? Murray, he went out looking for a snack and got captured by Inspector Fox. Okay. Carmelita, she's here? Don't worry, Bentley. I know how to handle Woo! her. But I don't know where she's locked up, Murray. I'm used to having all the bags. Calm down. Carmelita's not cruel like the Contessa. I'll follow her without being seen. She's oh, bound she to check on me sooner or later. Okay, that's that's a good plan. Just don't get caught too. I don't want to be alone again. Oh my God! Can we say fag alert? Bagger. Put him in a bagger. God, it made me uncomfortable hearing him say that. Ooh. Hang on, guys. I got you. Damn it. Stay still, bitch. Look at that. Oh, my God. That's big. That was thick. Woo, girl, come back here. I gotta put my hands in them pockets. I gotta put my hand in them. I go to jail. I won't go. Uh oh, whoa. <laughs> that stupid bitch. What is she doing? She killed him. Why? He was just walking. Talking about she's not cruel. What did he do wrong? She would have found our safe house. She's such a bitch, man. We helped her out, and she's still doing this shit. Fuck her. Like, more like I got one of fuck her. But seriously, though, she need to chill out. Watch you go out there and kill that man. Uh oh, go away. Hey. So, uh. We didn't really get to properly introduce myself. My name is Lars, and uh, I really like your ass. Hang on, ah, you sexy as hell, and uh, I like your boots. I like your little hat. <laughs> you all dressed up for the winter time. It's really cute. You look cute. My God, kill that man! Oh, I thought she gonna turn around. Girl, I would love for you to turn around for me. Yo, oh, oh. Let me get a little picture. How about I take a snapshot? Ooh, look at that right there. Damn, look at that bad boy. That. Whew. Shit. Why you stop right here? I don't know. I'm kind of glad you did stop. Oh, shit. I'ma chase you, girl. Come here. Woo! So you try to get rid of me? Huh? We should take a look at you. 
We should take a picture together. You know, me and you. Right by the train. I think it'd be nice. You know? Oh. Were well, we looking for him? Hey, criminal. You doing okay in there? Damn. I know it's tight, but you won't get shot. Real tight. Still. I'm okay. And thanks for that bag of jelly beans. I was starving. <laughs> won't be long now. Once I bust the other members of your gang, we'll get out of here. I'm grateful for the jelly beans and all, but aren't you on the outs with Interpol right now? I'm an honest cop. Busting the Cooper gang will prove my innocence and show everyone. Yes. Neela set me up. She you is juicy as a Neela? plum. I hear she got promoted. Whatever. Just sit tight. I'm going to look for your pals. Yes. Guys, 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 guys. How could you Fine. not I've come to break you want up. to drink some of that? Chance. This thing is triple padlocked, and Inspector Fox is carrying all the keys. All the come keys. Come on, buddy. You know I'm an expert at pickpocketing. She's tough, Sly. If you manage to get a key, you'd better run for it. Carmelita's sure to notice and chase after you. Leave her to me. No, leave her to me. Fuck you, Sly. Leave her to me. Uh oh. <laughs> the music down, 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 down. Let me get that. Let me get my hands in there. Put my hands in it. Woo! You better pay attention to that man behind you. Ow! Beat her ass. She's just gonna stand there? Alright, alright, alright. Alright, fuck off. I don't know where you went, but I know where you're going. Jail. I, <laughs> I know where I'm going. And that pussy. I slapped that ass. I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. Ah! No! Please, come here. Don't do this. I couldn't help it. Please, I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. It's a weakness of mine. We're on the train tracks. You better stop. They go to the train. Goodbye. <laughs> Out. And then I landed in a bear trap. Yeah, I'm dead. I hope I got two keys. Thank you. Where'd she go? Where my girl at? Where my little girl at? Where my little girl? Uh -uh, I don't want to say that. Where my, where my baby? Where she at? You know I got a tracker on her. Oh, I don't know her. You my little tracker this year. <laughs> I got a little track. Hey, girl, you thought you'd get rid of me? You off to be close to that damn train, aren't you? I had to slap that ass. I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> I'll go to jail and I won't regret it. I swear I won't. You better ask somebody else. I'll go to jail for that. I do hard time for that. I'm telling you the truth, I do hard time for that. Ooh. Go to jail for about ten years for slapping that ass. I'll take it. No, I will. I'm right behind you, like I'm always. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. Guys, I'm sorry I acted that way. I'm embarrassed of my behavior. <laughs> a Charlie horse standing in that box. A Charlie horse. My horse. Pleasure. You know how I love to mess around with Carmelita. Yeah. Not as much as I do. That's weird. See you back at the safe house. What are you gay? So you're not into women or something? Weird. Man, every man on the block trying to holler at that girl. What you 
talking about weird. Did you see how juicy she is? There she is right now. I mean, look how juicy this girl is. Actually, you know, oh, I got an idea. I got an idea, guys. I got an idea. I got an idea. Boom. That's not my idea, but I had to do it. Somebody had to do it. I wanted to test out that. Oh, excuse you. Hang on. I got an idea. I got an idea. Is it locked? Yeah, it's on. It's on. L1. There she is over there. Did he just say kill? Wow. I got you in my trap. Bentley? This is a video game, so real life morals don't compare to you. I'm telling you, you got it made. You can do whatever you want to this girl. You can die and come back. There's no consequence where you at. She's yours. Sly can't do this. I'm trying to get me a good camera angle on something. I like that. What? There's nothing in there? She got. N if you take her pants off, she has nothing? Wow. She ain't even got no arms. She just clothes. She made out of clothes, but she can rock them. I mean, damn, look at that, guys. Look at that right there. Hang on. Oh my god, that's creepy. What? She got nothing under there. It's fake. She made that. Ooh. Billy tried to smack that ass. Oh, 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 I got it. I, I caught a bender down. I caught a bender down. Red alert. Red alert. Go to protocol six. Protocol six. Woo! Guys, what's that right there? What is that? Y'all see that? What is all that right there? Let's see from the side. Hang on. It's just drop down. Wow. From the side, the other side. Mm. I like that. I like that a lot. Smack that booty one time. Ah. Ooh, nice little pose. That's cool. That's actually a kind of cool little pose. Like an anime character pose, kind of. Uh oh. <laughs> ah, I got you on the train, Tex. Guys, I'm gonna wait for the train. I'm gonna wait for the train. I'm going to teach her a lesson. <laughs> Where'd she go? I caught her underwater. <laughs> oh my God. She's the one she can't get out. 
She literally can't get out. Can she get out? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. What row? Guys, what have I done? She can't get out. Uh. Oh well, not my problem. Let's go do a mission. Mm. You know what? You want to shoot me? Fall asleep on the train tracks. See how much of a good night rest you get later on. I'll come back and check on you. Make sure you're okay. Let's make sure you stay asleep for a little while. Oh shit! <laughs> Motherfucker drop coins. That man dead. Can I make him fall asleep? Pop your head back up. <clears throat> Go ahead, pop, the pop up. Pop your head back up. Let me see your head. Come on. Let me see your little head. Yeah? Look at guy plays Bentley. What we at? What we doing? I'm sure come lead is fine. I'm sure she'll get out. She'll be fine. I mean, she got a big ass booty. That booty gonna float in the water. I don't care what anybody say. It's gonna float. She will float. She will float. Think about it like this. She gonna be so cold when she get out. She gonna need someone to warm her up. I'm gonna be right there. I be like, we, we ain't got no blankets. The best thing we can do is, uh, we should cuddle. Body heat. Woo. Let me go check on her. Maybe she's gone. I think she made it out. She's smart. She knows. But she a bad shot, though. She's a bad shot. Uh oh, she's still down there. That ain't good. Yeah, she be alright. She will be alright. She don't need no man. supposed to get up there to collect the spice gas Murray's as I look at the plane near this ice plane jump on its strut and he'll fly you up to a good paragliding altitude oh and strap on a special vacuum backpack it'll automatically collect the spice gas after you pop the balloon sounds like fun once you've collected enough gas you'll have to land directly on the train's caboose why directly on the caboose Denatured spice gas is very unstable at lower altitudes. Mm. 
Unless you land on the Kaboom, Slide, no more questions. you won't have time to get the gas tank to the lock before it blows up. So you're saying I either land on the Caboose oh, or get blown to bits? Well, that's correct. Chemistry can be a harsh mistress. Slide, no more questions. Don't ask any more questions. How do Murray know all these controls to different vehicles and shit? Yeah, 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 shut up. I need my damn. Okay, maybe I do. The spice gas is lighter than air. Popping balloons should keep you aloft. Ooh. Never to use your bird either. Never to use your bird I mean, he's going so slow. There you go. Ta da! Get back to the ice plane. Two more cabooses to blow open. <coughs> I suppose. Surprised that little worker duck right there and just say, Why are they playing right here? Hey, you gonna have to turn that off. Come on out of it. Oh shit. I wouldn't even pay attention. Oh my god, Sly. How did you go inches off? I'll tell you one thing, this camera is shit. Let's go! In the air. Ah, oh, fuck it. I can't even move in the air. Come on. Let me have some control. Control. And this shit so slow. Hurry the fuck up.
You guys are doing great. There's just one caboose left. I don't know. One more caboose. Try not to get blown up. That took a long time. Woo! All right, Ben, look at your ass out there. According to this timetable, Iron Horse number one should be passing by any time now. I, I see it. It's moving awfully fast. Just jump on the caboose and go in through the hatch. Piece of cake. Mm. Skills time. Show, show your blade and let me shine. Simple shit. Okay. <clears throat> Things are going great. We've already stolen one of Jean Vassan's three clockwork parts. However, Iron Horse 2 and 3 are going to be a little tougher to crack. First, I'll need to hop aboard Iron Horse 2 and do a little preemptive RC chopper strike oh, to clear no. out the air defenses. 
Once cleared, it'll be up to Sly to work his magic in the interior to get at that second clockwork lug. Murray, you'll need to trap some of the local bear cubs in order to unlock a nearby hand car. We're gonna need it to catch up with Iron Horse number three. But don't worry, the cubs won't be hurt. Although I can't say the same for the guards. Uh-huh. Okay, Murray. Let's do this shit already and get over with. Oh yeah. Oh, there she is. I see, guys. I told you she'll make it out. She's all right. I made that pussy cold. We'll need this hand car to chase down Iron Horse number three. But for the time being, it's all fenced in. No problem. I'll tear that fence apart. The metal's too resilient for my bobs or your muscles. No, so for this job, we're going to have to rely on a stronger force. The love of a mother for her child. Uh, you got something to tell me? Yes, I've had the good fortune of locating two children. Were you not fucking America. listening when he was going over planning? You put them together I wasn't... inside that fence, they'd surely start fighting. Bears at that age are particularly antisocial. Noise from the squabble should bring their mother around. I'm not listening now. I get ya. That big mama bear will be able to smash the fence no problem to free her cubs. That's correct. Beware, cubs, for you are hunted by the Murray. Okay. All these bear traps, this baby cub bear was sleeping around all these bear traps. Come on, you little motherfucker. Good work, Murray. I'll send you the coordinates to the next bear cub. Yeah, you sent me a couple of them. Oh, damn. Of that shit, that motherfucker come at me, I'm knocking the fuck out of it. Gonna beat the shit out of that thing, you gonna wish he was asleep. Come on, move that fucking slow ass thing. They're fighting. The mother is already on her way. That was beautiful. Just like a nature documentary. Only more violent. Yay, we're done. Okay, yeah. Woo wee, boy. Alright, Bentley. Oh, yeah. Oh. Let's let Bentley come outside. Bentley, boy. Let you get a little taste. Billy had put his hand sometime on his ass four or five times. So squishy. It was like nothing I ever had before. It was like 
finding treasure, gold. When you have it in your hands, it's, you know, you'll never forget the feeling of it. It's like, wow. Heads up, Bentley. Here comes Iron Horse number two. You and that RC chopper of yours ready? We'll get the job done, provided I can catch up with that trade. Yeah, you can catch up with it. Just keep your mouth shut and keep working. Do we really need this? Had better work. Sly won't stand a chance making it through this train unless yes, I neutralize will. the aerial defenses. Good thing I outfitted the RC chopper with a new cannon. Let's see. Shut up. The X button drops bobs and the square button shoots forward. Oh my god. I should pop those missile launchers before things get ugly. If they shoot like that, then nobody's gonna have a problem with it. I baby one's gonna have a problem with those guys. Come on. Move it on. Move it on up. How long we gotta do this? Can't take any more damage. Are we done here? I wish to stop. I would like to stop. This is it. The final stretch. Oh my God. I had to fight for my life. defenses are down. Now it's all up to Sly to finish the job. Uh-huh. Woo. All right, let's get back. You caught me. Excuse 
Excuse me? With the strength of a thousand cruise ships. Uh. Okay. Thank you for taking it off, but you know I don't want it off. You know I can't... I can't, um... You know I can't do it without it. Life, the second iron horse train is coming too fast! Mm -hmm. You might not have time to jump on top! Relax, Bentley. There's more than one way to get on top of that caboose. Like, get on top of them. The other clockwork lug should be hooked into the engine's furnace. Yeah. Sneak your way up there and grab it. Uh huh. Just get on top like this. Wow. Slide, why don't you just stay on top of the train? Will that not make sense? But I don't bypass all this stuff. Just stay on top of the train, dumbass. Why are you going to end the train? Okay, guys, Trying to take this a little nap. Time to break into Iron Horse number three and carry away the clockwork stomach. Now, the train's moving too fast to jump onto here in town, so we'll have to catch up with it on Murray's new hand car. Once we're in position, Sly will hop aboard and make his way up to the engine. While he travels through the interior, I'll provide air support with my RC chopper. I've planned this as a textbook train robbery. If we all do our jobs right, what could possibly go wrong? I don't know. They didn't make Got us do that. Strong work, Murray. Yeah, sure. The Murray's strength knows no limit. You're on, Sly. Break into that train and steal the clockwork stomach. That Jean Bassan's one strange guy. The claw gang divides up the clockwork parts and he walks away with the stomach. Did you guys get the fuck on the it train? creeps me out. Get creeped out later when we aren't riding an antique hand car at breakneck speeds. Good point. It's time for a train robbery. <laughs> They're just a talk. Get the fuck on the train. Yeah, just stay on top of the train. Why go in the train? That don't make sense. Me. That their clockwork stomach is as safe as a snowman in winter. I'd like to meet the varmint that's been 
loot my iron horse dreams. By Jiminy, I get hot neat the color just thinking about how I cut that boy down. Oh, I cut that boy out of that. Wouldn't have got caught if they didn't fuck with my abilities. Alright, we here. Oh, wait. Obviously, I missed some kind of scripted shit. I missed something that was scripted. Now I gotta go back. I don't know. <coughs> I missed something. They don't want us to do it like this. I'm not finna fucking do the whole mission either. I'm going all the way back. Damn it. Oh, I see. This was supposed to happen. Hey, Cooper. Huh? Well, I might find you here. Yeah. Just can't stay away from these clockwork parts, can you? Oh, I just do it to meet exciting ladies like yourself. If you'd yeah. like some excitement, why not climb up on top of the train? That's sure what I told you to do. Pumping. Maybe even show you my new ride. No thanks, Neela. I've seen enough already. What's the problem, Poodle? Afraid you can't take me on. Have to call up your little friends for help. Come in, little friends. Neela's got me pinned down. Any chance of air support? No, come in, little friends. I launched the RC chopper. She won't know what hit her. Come on, Cooper. Let's play. What in blazes? All right, little RC friend. This should be a quick bit of destruction. Oh my God! Are you serious?
That was some fancy flying, little friend. Whatever you say, poodle. Hey, <sighs> we... What? Basan's wised up and bolted the stomach down. We'll have to crack the engine what? block to get it free. <laughs> then that's just what we'll do. Uh, we'll place bomb down the great smokestack. We'll knock it loose. Just make sure to take some cover. <laughs> Look at this right there. Not so fast, Chuck. The dragon is mine. The dog is just... Oh my god, this bitch is full health. Oh my god. Oh, are you kidding me? Why is this game doing this to me? What the fuck? Fuck this game. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go take my dog out or something. Yeah, I got her. Clear slide. This might be a mess. Yeah. I've got an upset stomach on my hands, but other than that, I feel great. Clever. The gang and I had pulled off the impossible. We'd successfully robbed all of John Bassan's iron horse trains, and <laughs> we were walking away with three, count them, three clockwork parts. And as a bonus, we shut down spice distribution in all of North America. Needless to say, we were pretty pleased with ourselves. Can't say the same for Carmelita. Once again, the framed policewoman had to run from the cops. God damn, man, those first, titties. But I'm oh. starting to feel a little sorry for her. I mean, what if they replace Carmelita with someone else? I don't want another cop on my tail. She's a big part of why this is all fun. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to figure out a way to clear her name. Some way other than turning myself in. And yeah, she got some fat titties. Alright guys, but uh, that's going to be it for the video. Uh, tune in next time for episode 7 of Sly Cooper 2 uh, Battle Thieves. Yeah. So, alright.